Hey guys, today I got a video on the True Prophecy Hand Cannon, and here is my exact perfect god roll, at least in my opinion, for a controller player. I think this is the best in class in every single slot possible for controller players. I think this roll has a perfect blend of range and stability and lethality. This thing is nuts. A PC player that plays mouse and keyboard might want more range, but I think that this is the perfect blend. Let's go over it. For the sight, I got Steady Hand, which gives you a big bump in stability and a little bit of handling, which is nice. Steady rounds for a really big bump in stability, but a small decrease in range, but it's not too noticeable. And then I got a range master to get some more range. Range finder, which is absolutely insane, especially on guns like hand cannons, they feel really nice. Um, a bit more zoom and adds range. I've been hearing that it gives about roughly four meters of range, which is pretty nutty when you think about that. It's a lot of range for a very small uh, penalty of like, what is it, a very small zoom. It's, it's barely noticeable to be honest. And then I got Rampage, which is what makes this gun particularly pretty nutty, and I'll explain that in a second. And then I use Rampage spec, which adds on about one and a half seconds to my Rampage, which is really nasty. So with Rampage, it allows you to do 99 damage per crit, which will two-tap anybody with nine uh, under nine resilience. So eight and lower resilience will be two-tapped by Rampage, which is insane. Pretty much the only people that have higher than eight resilience are Titans, and pretty much most of them don't have that high resilience anyways, so you should be good. So, when I originally made a video about this gun before, it's my second video on this thing, I talked about explosive payload being better than Rampage, and I gotta admit, I am completely wrong when I said that, guys. I thought explosive payload was insane because they gave you a little bit more range, and it made the gun flinch even more, and it made it feel really consistent. But now that I've tried out my Rampage roll a bit more, as you can see, I almost have 3,000 kills on this thing, and that's only been in about two weeks of gameplay. Uh, this thing is literally insane. I love it so much. My favorite hand can in the game right now, and I'm not, I'm really surprised that I'm saying that because I did not think this thing would be that good at all going into this season. I thought 120 hand cans were going to be kind of gimmicky, and obviously they're not. They are the meta this season. It's crazy what Bungie did with them. They are amazing, and especially when you get a gun like this with the rangefinder and Rampage, this thing is nutty. So yeah, just this thing is a perfect blend of stability, range, and lethality. You can you can kill people, I'm pretty sure, further than Stern with this exact roll, and it has a lot of stability. The only thing that feels a little weird for controller players, the recoil direction is not a perfect 100, which means that uh, it is does have this kind of like weird uh, recoil to the side. Once you get used to that though, this thing is really easy to use, really strong, it's amazing. Um, I want to talk about, a lot of people say that 120s might be a little bit OP this season. I wanted to say that I think in some ways compared to other primary guns, they might be a little bit considered OP, but I got to say, I think this is a good thing overall because for once, I've, let me just explain something real quickly. If you were to look at my last season's trials reports and look at my primary kills, special weapon kills, um, I usually I use last word in a sniper or a thorn and fell winter's lie usually my two combos that I would always use and if you were to look at my last season's trials report usually my primary gun would be barely above my special weapon kills barely I'm talking like 10 kills more I'd have like 250 special weapon kills and like 260 primary gun kills it's usually about like that barely anymore and that's not the usual most people have more special weapon kills but this season if you look at my uh, trials report when I'm using this true prophecy I'll have something along the lines of like 360 True Prophecy kills compared to like 100 Fell Winter's kills. Like that is a huge difference and I think this is what Bungie should just be like the benchmark for Bungie and primary guns I think at least. Bungie should be buffing other primary weapons to feel a lot like the 120 hand cans because I think it pushes people to use their primary weapons a lot more and I think it's a really good thing. I think guns should have more range and should be Maybe not quite as insanely lethal with a Rampage on 120, but they should be more lethal and maybe easier to use. Maybe that's why people use these so much at things, because they're so easy to use and they have so much range. I think that's why the people gravitate towards these guns. I'm just saying that the, the stats don't lie. I am literally using my primary gun three times more than my special weapon, which has never ever happened since Forsaken, basically. So that, that's a pretty big deal in my opinion. I think that's a good thing. I think people should chase for that. I hope Bungie buffs more primary guns like they did to the 120 hand cans. I hope they don't just nerf it and we go back to special weapons being used like crazy. Obviously, stasis is a whole other topic, but I really love this True Prophecy hand can. As you can see, I got a whole lot of nutty clips in the beginning. I hope that intro wasn't too long, but uh, yeah, and today I got an amazing gameplay for you guys. I got 65 opponents defeated. It, uh, it was pretty nutty. It was pretty nutty. It's an awesome game. Hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more console games like this in the future, please give a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this one, and I'll see you on the next one. One, nice.
Made it super. Oh! Oh, good trade, good trade at least. Play this. What? Holy crap, I got three bad shots in the air. How many are there? How many are there? Did it? I got two. Oh no, not one of these again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. Oh, I killed two in this game! Half shield in the warlock. Nice play. Yeah. Good cap C, yeah. See if we can pull heavy. I got mine. What are they doing? Oh, I don't know. That was a headshot. No, you stupid celestial fire, and he's really glitchy too. Of course, man. I thought I was getting close to a 50 trigger, I think. Damn it. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> All right. Couple bad plays in a row. Like what? I don't get that. That kid is so leggy. Holy crap. Literally, this kid is so glitchy. Finally got him. Oh my goodness, I can't tell if I was missing or if they're late. I honestly don't know what's going on in this lobby. I know. I'm gonna try to cap B. We're definitely not killing this team, but they've had they've had flakes a lot more than us. That's gonna kill me, I think. Oh nope. Oh, I got a Titan behind me. Traded at least to the leggy warlock. Uh, we got two flakes to their one, so we should win this game. Our team has a super. Please, my team's gonna use that broken super, right? Oh, I swear. Oh my, I think we might actually lose now. <laughs> that hit me. Our teammate is not using the super. Oh, we lost. I don't know how we lost, honestly. We two flags at a super. Damn it. <clears throat> I think I got a lot of kills.
65 kills and we lost! <laughs> oh my goodness, we lost. I got 65.